world has been really fighting for decades to try and eradicate polio. And we've got to this point where we're nearly there. We're, we're just a whisker away. When we heard the pace, we were all astonished. And we all raised our eyebrows and said, really, we're gonna do this, are you mad? To have 126 countries introduced in such a short period of time it was seen by everybody as something impossible to achieve. Once it was broken down for us, there was a real understanding that this was doable. It was doable, but with enormous effort. Albania, we are now using IPD. We are 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 using IPD. We To me, seeing you know, every last child in Nepal receiving IPV is ensuring that the children today are protected against polio. My child, your child, the children to come, one less disease to worry about. La polio is a maladie qui uh, en Tunisie pratiquement a disparu, mais on a remarqué qu'il y a une possibilité de réapparition. Et donc. Uh, IPV introduction is one of the end game strategy for polio eradication so that can join the rest of the world in celebrating a, a polio free environment. In 2013, I didn't think it was possible. Now I'm persuaded uh, that we'll make it. Je dis bien pour les pays qui vont commencer le polio injectable. D'après mon expérience, allez-y et courage. Have you ever suffered from any of these symptoms? Fatigue, feeling faint, fever, muscle weakness, loss of muscle, muscle quiver, headache, nausea, slow growth, paralysis. Well, you might be suffering from polio, polio, but probably not. Because in 2015, polio has only been found in Pakistan and Afghanistan. Since this is just a snippet of polio, here is more to know. New York experienced the first large epidemic, 27,000 cases and 6,000 deaths. The iron lung was developed for those who were paralyzed by the disease, which is a rare outcome. In 1988, there were no polio cases in the US, UK, and much of Europe. 125 countries were still impacted by polio. And by 2013, China was polio free. And that is the history up to now, with only cases found in Pakistan and Afghanistan, with no cases in Africa for over a year. Now, you might be wondering, do I have to worry about contracting polio? Have I been vaccinated? The good news is that you probably have. The polio vaccine, IPD or OPD, is given four times during childhood, at two months, four months, 12 to 16 months, and a booster at four to six years. And not to worry, this can be given with other vaccines. These polio vaccines are done solely to prevent the spread of the infectious disease and in countries where polio is an epidemic or the risk of transmission is high, IPD-OPD vaccinations 
will provide intestinal immunity for those who received the treatment. The IPV vaccine is administered by an injection in the leg or arm, depending on the age. The OPV vaccine is administered by oral intake. OPV has not been used in the U.S. since 2000, but is still used in other parts of the world. These vaccinations are usually done by a person's doctor or primary health provider and can be done at a variety of places, such as private doctor's offices, public or community health clinics, or other community locations. If you have not received the vaccine, your risk factors include pregnant women being more susceptible, you can be infected by polio, and can undergo paralysis or other symptoms and side effects. However, one upside is that you don't have to worry about having an allergic reaction to the vaccine. Now, if you have received the vaccine, here are your risk factors. Fainting after receiving the vaccination. Shoulder pain that can be long-lasting, but that's very rare. A severe allergic reaction. And very rarely, there's always the chance of serious injury or death. However, you won't have to be worried about catching the polio virus. The Minnesota State Department of Health Laboratories Develop the use of a single oral dose of polio vaccine containing the three types, one, two, and three, of the live attenuated cough strains of the polio virus. The MDH recommends that kindergarten boosters for polio be administered before entrance to kindergarten, and law requires that the final dose be on or after the fourth birthday. The fourth dose of polio vaccine is not required if the third dose of polio was administered after the fourth birthday, and students 18 years or older are exempt from the polio vaccine requirement. And that's all you need to know about polio.